Bright, aka Mama Friendly, and I do all sorts of videos on my channel, from cooking videos to planner videos, vlogs, hauls, homeschool videos with a Disney twist, a little bit of everything. So if any of that sounds like fun to you, I hope that you'll subscribe and join me on my YouTube adventure. Today's video is called Clutter Free in 2023. Now, if you've been following me on Instagram or even in my daily vlogs on this channel, you'd have seen that since November 27th, 2022, I've been embarking on my own sort of decluttering journey. Completely by happenstance, I realized on November 27th that if I started counting that day, there were 400 days between then and the end of 2023. So I thought to myself, if I commit to throw out one thing a day, starting now, November 27th of 2022, then I will have gotten rid of at least 400 things by 2024. And so the hashtag 400 by 2024 was born. There's a few people already in on the challenge where they're just posting every day what they've gotten rid of. And I could be better about posting it on Instagram. I'm better about posting it in my daily vlogs. But regardless, I would love for you to join us. I thought this is perfect. I can put together a compilation and show you guys what I'm throwing out every day so that I'm giving you guys a month to month check in, not only so you can see what all I'm getting out of my house in 2023, but also kind of to help hold me accountable. So with that being said, let me show you what I got rid of in this past month. Hey pals, it is July. So our goal this month is 31 items. The last few months I've been focusing on one room or one area of the house at a time. And as a result, other areas of the house have kind of fallen behind. So this month I'm returning to kind of my original plan of attack, which is I'm just going room by room, bit by bit. If I find something that I need to get rid of, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. And hopefully, eventually we'll get back to more of like a targeted, organized approach, but this month ain't it. So I'm starting out here in my son's homeschool room because even though I dedicated a couple months to decluttering in here, there are still other things that have to go or things that we were using at the time but we're not any longer and so now we can get rid of them. So starting out, I have three puzzles here that are in their little bags. We've already done the unit studies that we're gonna do with these and so they're gonna go. So that's three items of the 31. This Cultures of the World theme box, again, we've already kind of run our course with this. So this is number four right there. Map of the World, we ended up not using this. It's still completely sealed. So I'm gonna get rid of that and hopefully somebody can use it. That's gonna be five. And America the Beautiful puzzle, this is gonna be number six. And then this Canadian puzzle, we've not opened it yet because we haven't done this unit study yet, but we are getting to it later this month. So I'm going to go ahead and count that towards the total because after we've done our unit study, this is gonna go as well. So that's four plus three, seven items towards our 31 item goal for July. I'm also going to be doing some stuff from the other bookshelves in our home. I might be doing some stuff in the kitchen. We'll just kind of see how everything flushes out, but we're off to a good start for July. I've got five more items before I wrap up for the day. So I've got these two paint by sticker books. They're actually super cool. Um, they're just what they sound like. It's like a paint by numbers kind of setup, but each one comes with a sheet of stickers that pertains to it. So it ends up functioning exactly as a paint by numbers would, but with stickers. So this is great for fine motor practice, but it's a little complicated for kiddo right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of them. And if in a later time he decides, or we decide that he's ready for them, then we'll just get other ones, it's fine. Um, I've got a superhero cookbook here that comes with these cool cookie cutters, perfectly wrapped, completely unused. So hopefully that finds a new home. A dinosaur lovers cookie kit book. So we've not used these either, but I also have no plans to. So there's that. And then I've got a Eureka crate. I've talked about these before on my homeschool videos and in my decluttering videos. We got my son a 12 year subscription but it's meant for ages 14 and up. He's currently 11 and he needs help to do them 
but even so they're so complicated that he loses interest almost immediately so we're not quite ready for them yet but i don't want them just stacking up around the house and so i'm hoping some older kiddo out there will use it and enjoy it this one in particular is build your own cornhole catapult which should be a lot of fun so that brings my total of the day to 12 items just a quick little addition to the declutter um, the stove is a mess i haven't cleaned up after breakfast ignore that but i've mentioned in one of my vlogs probably that for amazon day for prime day i bought nice new stoneware actually these are the bowls right here some nice new bowls and plates etc because when we moved i just bought a bunch of plastic stuff from target because it was cheap and we needed it in a pinch but as you can see they stain and um when you cut on them they get all awful and then you're eating all that plastic like they're just no good so i'm gonna get rid of all these i've actually thrown out a bunch already and i realized like man i should have been counting this towards the <laughs> towards the daily declutter and i didn't so all at once now, I'm going to throw out these two bowls, this plate, this plate, another two down here. So that's what, six items total today. That brings my total for July to 18, and I'm sure that there's more where that came from. All right, friendlies, the kitchen declutter continues. I believe at last count, we were at 18 items for the month. So here's 19, 20, 21, 22, and... I have all these lids here for like stainless steel bowls and I've never used the lids. I don't think I ever will. So I'm going to be generous and just call this one item. So that's 23, right? Total for the month so far. Sorry, 24. I just realized there's one, two, three bowls here. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 items for the month. All right, pals, we're about to wrap up July's declutter with some pretty random stuff. I've got a bowl and a plate. They're both out of here. I've got a Tesla charging adapter and a bike bag. I guess it's like a like storage for a bicycle. These two items actually came from Amazon. Um, they were sent here by mistake. Like I think the last tenant forgot to update his address or something. And Amazon basically said, what do we care? Keep it, we're rich. <laughs> Bezos does not give a crap, just keep the stuff. But we have no use for either of these things, so I'm donating them. This is a camera box, it's the camera that I'm using. I actually unboxed this camera ages ago, so I'll post that in the corner, but I obviously still very much love it and I have no plans of returning it or getting rid of it. So I'm gonna finally get rid of the box. Same goes for this Google Nest Cam. We've got one pretty much in every room of the house. Uh, special needs life, what can I say? But the cameras work great. We have no intention of getting rid of them, so the box is gonna go. And finally, I've got this really cute polka dot wrap dress. I probably unboxed this on the channel as well in one of my Dia & Co unboxings. The thing is that I have an almost identical navy blue white polka dot wrap dress and I like the cut and fit of that one a little bit better. So there's really no need for me to have like two almost identical dresses. So I'm going to donate this one as well. That brings our total for July to 31 completely random items. And prepare because next month in August I'm going to be doing another 31 items. But they're not going to be so random because we're working on a kiddo closet clean out. So uh, get ready for that guys. All right, guys, there you have it. That's what I've decluttered in this last month. Was there anything you saw that was a little bit surprising, maybe? Can you relate to having all these random things just thrown about your house that maybe you don't need? And are you maybe on a decluttering mission of your own this year? Tell me about it in the comments, and I'd love for you to join the hashtag 400 by 2024 because I'd love to see what random things people are finding around their houses and giving the old heap ho. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for being here and watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope that you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.